So we called it that. Now, Dave Wazorka, he's kind of an elite group, fraternity, if you will. It's called the flippers, the upside downs or what have you. Can you tell me a little bit about the incident where you did get the truck upside down? Well, we was racing down in Austin, Texas, and I was racing Texas Stomper at the time. And the cars that, uh, were pretty pretty well squished, and they had some pretty good holes in them. And I'd come over the cars, and my nose had went down into it. And it was just like <laughs> something just hung onto my front tires, and I just went on over forwards. A little bit earlier, Richard explained about the crunch cars. He mentioned the word holes in the cars. That's the reason that TNT puts the straw inside, to keep those holes from developing where the front tires don't actually get stuck when the cars are going over. And, of course, tonight, these guys going over cars that were used last night, and that gives them better speed, doesn't it, Arm? Yeah, they get a lot more speed. Remember, this is a quick, quick track. They come out, immediately go to a jump. Look at the nightlife trucks. What a run. Mad Dog will have to wait for another day to go to the winter circle. The nightlife kid's going to come back later. Now, what was the fire shooting out underneath Dave Weissorek's nightlife there at the end? A little bit of raw fuel coming out of the exhaust is all it was, Richard. Uh, here's my buddy out of my home state, uh, great state of Tennessee, John Moore. No problem. And this is a guy that's a real cagey veteran on the circuit. Normally, his wife and daughter travels with him. This weekend, they're back in Tennessee uh, for a brownie troop, I think, uh, excursion somewhere. He's taking on the pride of the Carolinas, Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. You know, Richard, it's ironic these fellas should run each other because they're both building brand new trucks for 1989. We keep talking about 89. The 88 season's wrapping up. You're going to see a brand new Chevrolet Carolina Crusher and a brand new Ford Bronco. No problem. But right now, for bragging rights, who's going to take the win? Look at John Moore. What a shot by the Ford camp. That is probably the best run I've seen out of John Moore in the entire 1988 season. He has got something going right in that truck as we go trackside. John Moore, I tell you what, I think you surprised a whole lot of people right there. Oh, we waited a long time to get one on Gary this year. He's really been running strong against us. How do you feel your odds are tonight? I don't know. It, if I can hang into that lane, we should be all right. Some of the drivers were talking. They were watching you qualify, and they, they feel like you may have something up your sleeve. You're leaving on the start line just as quick, if not quicker, than everybody else. Does this short wheelbase help you to get over that first hill quick? I think we get four wheels running on everything right away, and we don't have to wait for the rears to catch up. Right. We'll be keeping an eye on you the rest of the evening. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bob, well, see, I really like that guy. John Moore, he moves on, but here we are, our final race in the opening round. It's the guy that's won three events in, the row, in a row 